let's transform these thrift store finds into something super spooky. So I grabbed all of these at my local Goodwill and I'm gonna show you what I did with each one. The first step was I spray painted this cute little bird topiary black. Um, I wanted to make it kind of like a little bird cage for some ravens that I'm gonna to add to this display. Then I took this little bouquet of potted roses and spray painted it black as well. This was super easy, but I definitely recommend using the pink gloves. Um, I will link the ones I use below. They are super convenient and I use them for everything. Um, so the key with this is to just keep moving the plant around and around until you get all of the leaves and in between all of the roses. So the flower petals themselves can be a little bit tricky. You can see I'm spraying it easily on top, but it's kind of the in-between spots that are a little bit trickier. Um, but just don't give up. It's actually really fun. Uh, make sure you're doing this outside in a well-ventilated area. And you can see I'm kind of getting down in the leaves, down in the grooves of each of those roses just to make sure that they all turn a really fun and spooky black color. Black spray paint is one of those things I try to keep on hand all of the time for projects just like these that pop up. Don't get really fussy about what kind of sheen it is. I wanted a matte, but I think this ended up being a little bit shinier. Next, let's make a skull bead garland. I grabbed these little skulls. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. I believe these came from Joann's, um, but any skulls will do. You can always paint them if they're not the color to your liking. Now you're gonna wanna screw a uh, you're going to want to drill a little hole through each side of his face so each of his ears were perfect for the placement of the holes and then i grabbed these little crocheted wooden beads i will link those below they're always super popular so i threaded a little bit of embroidery thread onto a huge super big needle because number one i'm blind and number two it's what i needed to get it through these beads as well as the skull heads. So I laid all of mine out so that I would not get distracted. Sometimes I get in like a crafting coma, so I just didn't want to mess these up. Super easy, just repeat your pattern. So in order to finish this garland up, I'm going to take these embroidery threads. I ended up using two packages because I wanted two sets of the gray and one set of the black. And it's so simple, you guys. This is such a fun and easy tassel hack. You're going to take your embroidery threads. I looped them all on my fingers to get the center of the loop. And then I'm going to take the thread that I was using to strand the beads and go right through the center of all three of the um, tassel pieces. And then I'm just going to tie it off here at the end of my bead garland. Once you have that knotted up, you can tighten it and remove all of the little stickers that the embroidery thread came with. Um, some people think this is not a great way, uh, but I absolutely love it because it just makes things go a lot faster for me and you can pick out of so many colors. So once you have all three of them lined up, you can cut the bottom section out just like I'm showing you here. And then you can actually um, clean it up even further by taking it um, at the bottom, lining them up like kind of like I do my messy bow and giving it like a little bitty haircut. So once you get them all together, I'm going to show you here. Oh, first I'm going to show you how to actually do the tassel head. So you're just going to twine that top piece of embroidery thread around and around and around at the top until you have it about as thick as you want it. And then I ended up threading my needle again just in order to tuck that little piece right back up through the little knot there. Um, it makes it super tight and secure. So I'm just gonna trim that with scissors and then go ahead and trim the bottom of the tassel like I talked about. Super easy, makes it super convenient for making a tassel. I hope you'll try it. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever made a tassel using this embroidery thread hack. Next up, we have the haunted house. You guys, this is one of my favorites. I love, love, love it. So this is just a little Dollar Tree dollhouse that I took and used some of that spare spray paint. It is black. It is shiny. 
I made sure to cover the entire dollhouse um, front and back inside and out and again those little pink gloves came in super duper handy anybody can do this it is so convenient I looked forever for a dollhouse on Facebook marketplace and couldn't find one so this was the next next best thing I added a few Dollar Tree flicker little votive lights to the back so that they would shine through the front of the house for added spookiness what do you think all right so this third project i'm using my magnolia pens for a ghost painting these are so popular it is like a viral tiktok trend i have an entire blog post on it that i will link below for you guys but it's super easy to draw a ghost you just make the little form fill it in i'm using like i said the white permanent ink markers because i found this thrift store painting and it was actually a poster you guys it wasn't even a canvas it was a poster and it was still wrapped in the cellophane so I thought well I'll leave it on I'll paint my ghost spooky painting over it add eyes to these ghosts and make it a really fun Halloween piece of decor so let me know what you think of this idea in the comments below I went ahead and added black to the cauldron or I made it a cauldron, it was a planter. I made some more little adjustments to some of the scenery just for fun. Um, and you can get super creative with these. And I loved changing all of those little seagulls into bats. And then for the larger bats, I decided to add these little sticker bats, um, these 3D sticker bats, just to give it a little bit of something different. Um, I will link those sticker bats below as well. Those are super fun to decorate all over the house with during the holiday or the ha Halloween season. So this poster did not have a frame. So I took a Dollar Tree canvas and did the reverse canvas method where you actually remove the canvas from the back of the frame. I didn't want to bore you with how that happened. It was um, a labor of love. But once I had the frame separate, I went ahead and put hot glue in all four corners and just applied that to the poster it fit perfectly mine was a 16 by 20 i really lucked out this time you guys <laughs> okay let's decorate for halloween together this is just my front entry table i decided to add these thrifted books that i found there is that little raven underneath the little black bird cage that i did and the skull garland fit perfectly I added the little potted flower uh, roses and I put some plumes in it, plumes, plumes, I don't know, um, and the little skeleton hand. And then I took this Dollar Tree table runner and added it to my lampshade just to give a little added spooky effect. Um, and then I put the little haunted house here, turned on all the little flicker votive lights. And then finally I added the, um, second raven and the little skull skeleton here he is so fun i'm gonna have so much fun making him laugh all halloween and then i put the little ghost painting there in the back i turned on my light and this is how it turned out i cannot wait to hear your feedback on which project you like the best which one you will try yourself and what you think of it all together I love, love, love the skull would be garland. It was perfect for this little vignette. What do you think? Those little ravens are so stinking cute. I did get those at my Bucky's. Um, so that's a little gas station here in Texas. And then again, the thrifted ghost painting turned out so perfect for this little area. And then I love the little rose planter, spray painted black, perfect for the spooky season. This is everything together, guys. I really, really hope that you like it. Here's one last look at every single thing uh, again. And then if you like videos like these, I would love, love, love if you would subscribe to my channel as well as hit that notification bell so that you can be informed every single time one of these fun videos comes out for you. And uh, be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to link a few other Halloween videos that I think might inspire you for the season.